Hello, my third grade friends. We're off to another Three Little Pig book, The Three Little Super Pigs by Claire Evans. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who captured the big bad wolf in the house made of bricks. The hungry wolf fell down the little pig's chimney into a big pan of boiling water. He huffed and he puffed, but it was no use. He had fallen right into the pig's trap. I'll get you one day, little pigs, the angry wolf shouted as he was carted off to prison. With smiles on their snouts, the three little pigs waved goodbye to the big, bad villain. The citizens of Fairyland were very happy that the big, bad wolf had been defeated. The little pigs were awarded special superhero status and became known as the Three Little Super Pigs. Working together, they all rebuilt the whole town out of bricks to keep everyone safe. We love you, Super Pigs! From that moment on, the Super Pigs spent all their days being heroes and enjoying their newfound fame. When they weren't greeting their fans, they were fighting crime and stopping nursery rhyme bad guys. Meanwhile, deep inside, happily never after prison, the very angry big bad wolf was hungrily plotting his revenge in his cold and dreary cell. Take a look at some of his books. The Great Wall of China, Key Cutting, The Art of Bricklaying, How to Forge Keys, How to Build a Wall. Hmm, what's he up to? A few weeks later, the super pigs were called to investigate a new crime. Mysteriously, one by one, bricks were starting to disappear all around Fairyland. This was very strange. The super pigs were on the case. Missing Bricks, Rapunzel's Tower, Brick Town Road, Red Door House. Later that day, they received some shocking news. The Big Bad Wolf has escaped! The residents of Fairyland were scared and once again turned to the super pigs for help. Don't worry, the three heroes boasted. We'll find that wolf and make him pay. The three little super pigs hunted high and low, far and wide and long and hard, but the big bad wolf was nowhere to be seen. And here you can see the wolf is in the deep, dark woods, and he has a wheelbarrow full of bricks. And it looks like he has a little mouse friend in his wheelbarrow. The pigs searched everywhere for clues. Some people claimed they'd seen the wolf dressed up as an old lady. So the pigs rounded up all the grandmas in Fairyland. But the wolf was a master of disguise and they just couldn't spot him. Every day, more and more bricks disappeared from Fairyland. As night fell, the whole town locked themselves indoors, too frightened to go out. They hoped the super pigs would find the wolf soon. He was up to something big and bad. Here you can see the people hiding in their houses, and there's a wanted poster. Have you seen this wolf? Back at home, the first super pig was relaxing when he sensed something strange. Suddenly, a dark shadow fell upon the room. The big bad wolf, cried the super pig. I don't need to huff, and I don't need to puff, and I don't need to blow your house in, because I'm already inside, replied the pointy-eared wolf. The pig ran out through the front door, but was met with a terrible surprise. 
The cunning wolf had built a gigantic wall around the super pigs' houses using the stolen bricks from Fairyland. The super pig was trapped. Attempting to flee, the super pig tried to climb the brick wall using a ladder from the side of his house, but it was too short. Gotcha, sneered the wolf as he captured the helpless pig. Unaware of the danger, the second super pig was at home polishing his medals when he suddenly spotted something out of the corner of his eye. The big bad wolf, shrieked the super pig. I don't need to huff and I don't need to puff. I don't need to blow your house down because I'm already inside, growled the wolf. With a huge scream, the terrified super pig quickly ran outside and into the enormous brick wall. Desperate to escape, the little pig jumped on a nearby trampoline, bouncing as high as he could, but it was no use. Gotcha, boasted the wolf as he caught the pig in his trusty net. Two down, one to go, laughed the wolf as he prepared his delicious meal. The third super pig had heard all the commotion and was busy hatching a plan when the big bad wolf suddenly appeared at his window. The super pig grabbed his gear raced straight out the front door and down the path as quickly as his little legs could carry him. Working quickly, he freed his captured brothers from their tight pastry blankets, but it was not quick enough. Ha ha ha! There's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. I've built a wall around your houses, and now you're trapped inside, laughed the hungry wolf. You're no super pigs. You're my dinner. I don't think so, shouted the third super pig. He whispered to his brothers. Ready, set, let's go, and in a flash. They blasted off high into the night sky. The clever brother had outsmarted the silly wolf again using his jetpack invention to save the day. The super pigs had left the big bad wolf trapped in his own self-built brick prison. The angry wolf raised his fists. I'll get you yet, little pigs! And there they go, the super pigs blasting off. And here are the super pigs flying high enough to get out of the brick wall. Up in the sky, the three super pigs laughed out loud. You'll never get us, not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. And down below, the citizens of Fairyland cheered. Wow, pigs really can fly. The three little pigs had saved Fairyland from the big bad wolf once again. They truly were superheroes. Hooray for the three little super pigs! The end? Question mark? So this was the three little super pigs. You should get your little three little pigs recording chart and fill it in based on this book. And I'll see you soon. Bye.